In this example, I've got three Cisco IOS V routers that have just booted up. One is gonna act as our client, one's gonna act as a DHCP version six relay agent, and one's gonna act as our DHCP version six server. So let's start with the relay agent. I'll call this router relay. And then on gigabit zero zero, I'll no shut the interface. And actually, before I configure IP version six addresses, let's configure IP version six unicast routing. And now on gigabit zero zero, I'll configure an IP version six address of 2001 face colon colon one. And then on gigabit zero one, no shut the interface, IPv6 address 2001 colon 1234 colon colon one slash 64. So show IP interface brief will show us no IP addresses because no IP version four is configured on this router. Show IPv6 interface brief, however, shows us the IP version six global unicast address on gigabit zero zero, as well as the address on gigabit zero one. So show IPv6 interface gigabit zero zero. There is the link local address, global unicast address, and subnet address. On gigabit zero one, we've got something similar link local address and global unicast address. Now one thing we need to configure on the relay agent is on the interface that's gonna receive the DHCP request, we need to configure IPv6, DHCP relay, and point it to the DHCP server, which in this case is gonna have an IP address of 2001, 1234, colon colon two. So to configure the relay agent, we configure an IP address on gigabit zero zero, and we configure the relay destination. So that's the configuration of the relay agent. I'm gonna enable IPv6 DHCP debugging so that we can see DHCP messages received from the client. The next step is to configure the DHCP server. So I'm gonna call this router DHCP server, enable IPv6 unicast routing on gigabit zero one, configure an IP version six address of 2001 colon 1234 colon colon two slash 64 and no shut the interface. I'm also gonna configure a static route to the face network via 2001 1234:1 in other words the relay agent so can the dhcp server ping the relay agent yes it can can it ping the face interface on the relay agent yes it can so essentially this dhcp server can ping the relay agent now that we've completed the basic IP version six configuration, we need to configure the DHCP server. So IPv6 DHCP, in this case, we're gonna configure a pool and I'm gonna call it my pool. Address prefix is gonna be 2001 face colon colon slash 64. The face network is on the left hand side so that's the address prefix that we're gonna allocate. We'll also allocate a DNS server, which is gonna be the local router, and we'll configure a domain name of ccnax.com. So that's what should be sent through to the client through DHCP. Now on the gigabit zero one interface, we need to use this command IPv6 DHCP server and point it to the pool that we've created. So my pool. So this is the configuration of the DHCP server. We've essentially configured a DHCP pool as follows. 
And on the Gigabit01 interface, the interface that's gonna receive the DHCP requests, we have configured an IP address as well as a server pool. So let's do a debug IP v6 DHCP. So that's the server configuration done. Okay, so now let's configure the client. So I'll call this client. I'll enable IPv6 unicast routing. And then on gigabit 00, we'll use the command IPv6 address. In this case, we're gonna use DHCP. And then I'll enable IPv6 on that interface. Before I no shut to the interface, I'm gonna do a debug IPv6 DHCP. At the moment, we told that gigabit 00 is not ready. So show IPv6 interface gigabit 00. At the moment, the interface is down, but notice we do have a link local address. So interface gigabit 00, no shut. Let's see what happens now. What you'll notice in the output is that a solicitation was sent, a DNS server was configured, as well as a domain name. On the relay agent, it received the solicitation from, from a host ending with this link local address, which is, which if I scroll up, is the client. The relay was forwarded to the DHCP server. A reply was received from the DHCP server and the reply was sent to the client. On the DHCP server, relay was received from the relay agent. Pool, my pool is going to be used. A binding is created for the client. A new address is gonna be allocated to the client of this. So the address is gonna be allocated. The source IP address is gonna be this. It's sending a relay reply and it's updating the binding. Source address is gonna be that. The relay is once again sent to the relay agent. So show IPv6 interface gigabit 00. Notice the link local address is this, but the router has been allocated this address. That's for this subnet. What I'll do is shut the interface down. We can see some messages on the DHCP server, and then I'll no shut the interface again. So interface has come up and the router is getting an IP address through DHCP. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.